So we're inside and we've got some representatives from National Fiber out here and we've got a moisture meter. So I broke the rules and I put a vapor barrier on the outside of the house. So now with Bill's help we're going to check on any uh, moisture levels inside the exterior sheathing. Alright, so I think right about through here. I should give it a... So the wood on the inside you know, it was about, it was about seven. So now we're going to bottom out the, uh, the probes on the exterior sheathing there. And about 7.5 out, out there. So. And what we, is the moisture reading that we'd have to be worried about? Yeah, so it would need to be over 20%. Yeah, for there to be some concern about the durability of what's going on outboard of that. <laughs> um, it's less than I would have even thought between there. I thought there'd be a couple percentage points different there really you know is is very little between the inside and the outside but again because of the density of the cellulose and that hygroscopic properties uh, it's redispersing that moisture through that cavity Un unlike fiberglass which we probably would have some some issues or difficulty with January 29th uh, 2013 We've just gone through a pretty severe weather week last week where the temperatures were in the single digits uh, pretty much every day. And we're going to be looking now on the north wall on the bottom of the wall. So in, in my mind, this is where we would see the most moisture accumulation of, of anything. North wall, the sun isn't hitting it, basically redistributing that moisture from the outside. Uh, bottom of the wall where any liquid water would then basically fall down to the bottom bottom of the wall Were, were there any problems with it? So we have uh, our moisture probes now in the full 11 and three quarter inches uh, Inside the wall there and we're just going to take another moisture measurement now of of that So the moisture reading uh, on the meter is you know about uh, 7.8 so fractionally higher than the other side which was uh, I think about 7.5 uh, but still well within the range of safety and not indicating that we're having any kind of kind of issues here uh, once again showing that moisture redistribution that's occurring within that cellulose insulation yeah so we've completed the uh, moisture uh, readings here into the walls and found that on the west side of the, the building, uh, the moisture readings were a little bit slightly higher, uh, 9.2 to 10.1, uh, still very well within the safety range. Uh, and on the east side, they were a little bit, little bit less, a little, probably a little bit more sun over in that area. And those ranged from 6.2 to 7.3. We also went down into the basement and took some measurements down there, and they were in with the 9% range. So everything that we've seen here makes us real comfortable that there will be no durability issues. Um, because of that moisture gradient that kind of establish, establishes itself through the cellulose, uh, we've proven that even with an absolute moisture a vapor barrier on the exterior of the building, the cellulose basically builds that moisture gradient and even after a real severe you know, weather we've had in the end of, coming at the end of the winter, we still don't have any kind of elevated moisture levels to be concerned with here.